वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ मोशन इन वन डायमेंशन लेट अस कंटिन्यू टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ डिस्टेंस सो लेट अस लर्न वॉट इज डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस इज द एक्चुअल पाथ लेंथ ट्रेवल्ड बाई एन ऑब्जेक्ट इन अ गिवेन टाइम इंटरवल like if there is a point a and another point b suppose a body starts from point a and reaches till point b along this path so path of this length is called the distance distance is the actual path length traveled by the object in a given time interval as a unit of distance as distance is the path length so si unit will be meter meter is the si unit of distance it is a scalar quantity why it is a scalar quantity as it is not having a fixed direction it is traveling in any direction in this way in this way direction it does not have a specific direction that's why distance is a scalar quantity now the second point we will see that is displacement so what is displacement displacement is the shortest distance from initial to the final position so let us see this is the point a and this is the point b so this was the path length which is called the distance now from a to b this direct shortest distance is called the displacement so displacement is the shortest distance from initial to the final position as we have seen it having a specific direction initial to final that means along a to b that's why it is a vector quantity distance is a scalar quantity displacement is a vector quantity it is also the shortest distance that's why the si unit of displacement is also meter so this is all about distance and displacement let us uh, uh, see some differences between distance and displacement distance first difference distance is the actual path length traveled by a object displacement is the shortest distance from initial to final position this is the first difference second one distance is a scalar quantity displacement is a vector quantity next difference we can see distance can be distance always positive why because it is a scalar quantity but displacement can be negative positive distance displacement can be positive and negative both if we will see in certain case uh, like uh, distance one more difference i am telling distance depends upon the path followed by the object but displacement does not depends upon the path followed by the Uh, displacement does not depends upon the path followed by the object so this is all about distance and displacement let us see the next point that is speed so what is speed speed of a body is the distance traveled per unit time that is we can write speed is equals to distance by time or we can write it as s distance is equals to speed is equals to distance by time so this is the expression for speed let us see the si unit and cgs unit of speed as as a unit as a unit of speed as we have seen 
distance by time speed is equals to distance by time so distance is measured in meter and time is measured in second so meter per second is the si unit of speed if we will say cgs unit so cgs unit of speed is equals to in cgs system we measure the distance in centimeter and time in second so centimeter per second in as uh, if we are measuring the speed of uh, vehicle then we are always measuring in kilometer per hour so let us convert we will see now conversion from kilometer per hour to meter per second so now let us see the conversion kilometer kilometer per hour to meter per second so kilometer per hour is this equals to it means kilometer 1 kilometer by 1 hour or we can write it as 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meter by 60 into 60 second so let us cancel this and uh, we will get it as uh, this will be we will get it 5 by 3 so 5 by 18 meter per second 1 kilometer per hour is equals to 1 kilometer per hour is equals to 5 by 18 meter per second how we will use this suppose we have given a certain distance like 54 kilometer per hour so if we want to convert it into si system then we can write it as 54 54 into 5 by 18 and uh, we can cancel it and we will get it 15 meter per second so this will be converted into meter per second as children most problems in uh, physics we are solving in SI system that's why if we have given in kilometer per hour the speed is measured in kilometer per hour then we will convert it into meter per second similarly if in certain terms uh, two three speeds are given and we have to add subtract like that and all are given in kilometer one two three are in meter per second then we can convert it into kilometer per hour also so how we can convert meter per second to kilometer per hour for this what we will do as we have done here one kilometer per hour is equals to five by eighteen per uh, meter per second similarly we can write one meter per second is equals to eighteen by five kilometer per hour so like that we can convert meter per second to kilometer per hour and uh, kilometer per hour to meter per second so these are two conversions as i just said what is speed now let us see the different types of speed we can see the speed will be of four types so what are the four types of speed or different types of speed we will just see now our topic is types of speed the first one is known as uniform speed uniform speed second one is known as non-uniform non-uniform speed or also known as it is a variable speed variable speed next one is average speed and last one is known as instantaneous speed so let us learn one by one so first i am going to explain about uniform speed what is uniform speed if an object travels equal distance in equal interval of time, such type of then the speed of the body is said to be uniform. Howsoever small these intervals may be. Let us see how. Let us understand. Suppose a body starts from here and is traveling along x-axis. Suppose we are representing the time 0 second, then 1 second. 2 second, 3 second, 4 second. 
and suppose the distance travel is 5 meter, 10 meter, then 15 meter and they are 20 meter. So if our object travels and we plot a graph like this, so what it represents in one second it travels a distance of 5 meter. In next one second it travels a distance of next 5 meter. So in each that means in every one second the body travels a distance of 5 meter in this case. That's why I said what is a uniform speed if a body travels equal distance in equal interval of time. How so even small these intervals may be that means time and uh, distance travel may be very small then also we can consider it as a uniform speed if equal distance in equal interval of time. So this is all about uniform speed. Now next is non-uniform or variable just the opposite of this means the speed of a body is said to be non-uniform or variable if it travels unequal distance in equal interval of time or equal distance in unequal interval of time. So that is known as the non-uniform or variable speed means intervals will be different not like uniform speed. Next is the average speed. So what is the average speed? Average speed is the ratio of total distance travelled by total time taken. So we can write it as average dis speed is equals to total distance travelled total distance travelled by total time taken. This is just the average which is called the average speed. Average speed is the ratio of total distance travelled by total time taken. Now the last one is instantaneous speed. So what is instantaneous speed? If a body is travelling with non-uniform speed that means variable speed and during its motion at a particular instant of time if you are if we are finding its speed so that speed is called the instantaneous speed for example if i am telling like an object is traveling from this point from a point to b point with variable speed variable speed means like speed will be changed from place to place suppose it starts from a at 8 am and uh, it reached till point B at 8, uh, 15, 8 hour 15 minutes and 15 seconds. So we have just seen this. It is the time taken, time taken to travel from A to B is 15 minutes and 15 seconds. So during this motion, during this period of motion, if we will take a particular timing, suppose that. 8 o'clock, 10 minutes, 10 seconds. What will be its speed? So that particular instant, at that particular instant, what will be its speed? That is called the instantaneous speed. Velocity, sorry, speed at any instant during its motion of time is known as instantaneous speed. So this is all about speed and its time. One more thing. Uh, speed is a scalar quantity. Why it is a scalar quantity? We have seen speed is equals to speed is equals to distance by time. We have seen that one. So distance is a scalar quantity and time is also a scalar quantity. That's why uh, speed is also a scalar quantity. In next video, I will explain about velocity difference between speed and velocity and uh, acceleration in this video this much only thank you students